What's up guys? Welcome back to, I guess I can say almost the end of 2020. This coming Friday, it's Black Friday and that's what's standing between us and the last month of 2020. It's going to be one big, busy, hectic weekend. And my goodness, just looking at 2020 itself, it's been a very hectic and very different year. And this year we actually had three Apple events. We had a new Apple Watch that was unveiled. We had the iPhone 12 and this year, Apple made the big transition to Apple Silicon move. The first step to transitioning all their Macs to the new Apple Silicon chip. And not only that, but on the channel here on Half Men Half Tech, we actually managed to hit 1 million views on the channel. So thank you so much for your support. It's been tremendous. And just when you think that everything is almost done, we actually not yet done apparently. We have some stuff that we can expect when it comes to the last month of 2020, December. And and according to prominent Apple, I guess leaker, you can say love to dream, who has a track record that is about 90% accurate. He basically tweets, I guess you can say he also dreams stuff and then he tweets them out. And he basically tweeted that you'll be getting a Christmas surprise from Apple, PS winter exclusive, good for winter now most of the times though his tweets tend to be quite cryptic and according to most apple analysts at this time they are saying that what this means is that we could actually be getting two devices this year in december and the first one has to do with air tags we could be seeing air tags before the end of the year and the reason why i actually say this is because ios 14.3 which is currently in its beta stages when the first beta of ios 14.3 came out it actually had reference code that supported third-party tracking accessories like tile and so on so air tags is also like a tracking accessory that you can use to track your products or whatever you want to track using the air tag itself so when ios 14.3 comes out then this could actually mean that we'll be seeing air tags when it comes out the other perhaps surprise thing that we could be seeing this year when it comes to another apple product this year is the apple airport studio now according to 9 to 5 mark who was able to read the code when it comes to ios 14.3 again which is still in its beta stages they uncovered what is believed to be the the design of the airport studio this is possible because ios 14.3 came out and it had that code and they were able to read it and discover this now when it comes to when we could possibly be seeing ios 14.3 cause as you can see a lot of these devices are actually centered around the release of ios 14.3 apple at their past events they actually say that we are going to be seeing pro raw coming to the iphone 12 those that do support it the 12 pro and 12 pro max this year and at the time right now pro raw isn't actually out because it's only enabled with ios 14.3 so it's definitely an update that's going to come out this year so that these features come to those people that have the supported iphone 12 devices and most of the accessories that we talked about you can see that they are sort of centered around ios 14.3 so it's quite a crucial update however there is some information that we have when it comes to apple's next big ios update which is ios 15 according to the verifier who by the way managed to successfully guess the devices that would be supported on ios 14 last year way way in advance before anyone else could say anything they mentioned that when it comes to ios 15 devices that have the a9 processor aren't going to be supported when it comes to the next big ios update so that means that if you have an iphone 6s or the iphone se first generation then those devices are actually going to be dropped when it comes to ios 15 i mean look at the devices that i have i have so many devices here they are actually not going to be supported when ios 15 comes out so i'm sort of going to make a little bit of a loss but if you have the iphone 6s or order and also the iphone se first generation then ios 15 according to what the verifier is saying at this time that is not going to be supported i wish i actually had stocks of companies instead of you know stocks of iphones perhaps i would have made 
a better profit but either way that's what we have when it comes to a slight update on what's going on in the tech news when it comes to apple products and if you like this video drop a like and don't forget to subscribe also don't forget that this week is black friday so if you've been budgeting for something like me then this is the week you finally get the thing at a discounted price other than that stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace